everybody, and welcome back. A uh, very interesting layup of our playmat. Yeah, today. Uh, what is going on here? Torsong, Torsong City Grid, but the, the full fledged. Sure, we gotta get that branding in. I, I told them that they don't have to use it, but <laughs> it looks like. Will they will they play oh, entirely on dear. the Torsong playmat? Well, Terrence is already. Yeah, oh yeah, he's, he's already true. disqualified. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, as I have it. Wow, his uh, his stack is just way out there. All right, so uh, what are we looking at right here now? I'm joined here by Sung Ho, of course, uh, serving as both the TO uh, and the table judge for most of the top cuts here. Uh, but he's joining me in the commentating booth, and Victor is coming up to judge at the table. So oh. what's going on? What's this matchup? Uh, so they played already in Swiss. Yep. But uh, Dean knows what Terrence's uh, tricks are. Yep. So uh, he's probably going to want to try to protect his centrals first before he goes uh, tries to score. Oh, this is an APOC Val list. It yeah, is, this is yeah. definitely yeah. something that benefits in the Swiss when uh, information is not perfect. Oh, yeah. oh, but yeah. now that Dean knows everything, this is, might be a different tale than what happened. Uh, I think they split in Swiss. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So, Terrence, uh, Dean starting off with just a solid ice ice uh, into credit. Uh, Terrence following suit with some money of his own. Mm -hmm. Uh, that makes sense why he discarded those. Uh, yeah, he's getting rid of those, of yeah. course, because th is there anything Dean can do to punish that discard? Nothing on this list that will do no, so, right? No, no. Okay, then, yeah, that's a nice and safe discard here. Uh, he's got a scarcity up now, though. He probably should have held on to it because yeah. Terrence has employee strikes as yeah, well. Yeah, um, I think Dean was trying to fish out the employee strike uh, early, which is why he put the ice up. There. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not great. But uh, of course, if he did not have not the a, employee yeah. strike in a 50 card deck, you know, it's it's not always going to be there. Yeah. Um, that would that would have been really good momentum wise for Dean, but because Terrence has it, it's a moot point. And now Terrence is kind of just going to go dirty laundry, hit archives. Dean is also going to follow suit with some cash of his own, and we're building. Good start so far. Terrence already starting with a three conspiracy breaker. Yeah. Does he so have all three out? No. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's about got, to toss he's got the third Bork. one. Yeah. He's got yeah. Bork in hand. Got Bork. All right. Taking Mining out accidents. Of, can't afford to lose the five. Oh, he can right now. He just IPO'd. <coughs> yeah. He doesn't want to lose. The he five. doesn't want to lose the five. Yeah, for sure. Oh, he can't afford to lose it because he won't be able to res his important, interesting ice. Yes. Stuff like um, DNA tracker. Yep. Anansi. Oh, there's that Lady Liberty. Have you played with this card at all? Is it good? It's so is good. It, is it legit? Oh, do we have baby. do we have like a real glacier card going on here? It's 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 a spicy meat bud. Okay, yeah. So from the Bronx then, um, it's a it's a very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a very match. <laughs> it's all they're all kind of similar there, like uh, swarthy adjacent. Um, so here we've got a sure gamble and daily cast hitting the table. Uh, Dean reses his Lady Liberty, he gets a counter on it. So what's interesting about this is that he can triple click to add to score pile, but oh, it's yeah. not, it doesn't count as scored, nope. right? So no Nisei counters, nothing nope. like that. Uh, still though, it's a repeatable effect, right? Yeah. It only costs triple click, no trash? That's right. Sick. So, I mean, just to do a triple click of not having to waste turns to install advance advance, you have to actually res to protect it. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. Boom, boom, two points. Scored. Boom, yeah. three points. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, that's all there is to it. If yeah. you get to five, I yeah. mean, Terrence is already a winner because he starts with seven points. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, uh, what Lady Liberty doesn't do is clear the employee strike. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, eh, <laughs> it is what it is. So we've got a Clan Vengeance up on Terrence's side. Uh, he's going to yeah. install that. He's going to discard uh, another copy of MK Ultra. Uh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, well, there we go. Two points for Dean. Yep. This Ouch. card's already paying off. Oh, Lady the Liberty. only <laughs> asset uh, region. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is pretty it's pretty serious. Like, Dean is just threatening some, much, hard, much assets, such some hardcore scores. It's uh, so good. He's gonna res an IP block. Yep. Uh, can't, that's not can't risk really, the uh, yeah, another <laughs> Opakata going into score area. Yeah, so there's gotta clip. chase it out. There's clip. Yeah, Dean has two cards in hand. So if he has got the agenda, uh, then it's a fifty. Uh, yeah. So what, man? Uh, man, who? Uh, oh, uh, has pointed out. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's okay. the Opakata. Very uh, nice hit on yes, Terrence's very part. Nice hit. 
Uh, so four. That is correct. Yeah. So as uh, Clear has already confirmed for me, uh, Lady Liberty uh, just puts it into score area. So awesome. So Terrence losing an I've had worse than that, drawing a free three cards here, scoring an Obukata, which does keep Dean off of it, uh, unless of course a beastly top deck shows up. Uh, wow, this card is for real. Uh, Lady Liberty, man, just scoring out those points. Yeah, pretty decent. But I figured it was a big tell once uh, Dean scored the Nisei. Yeah, the, that he wanted to jam. That, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's kind of that's. Um, it's it seems like a big telegraph when people use Lady Liberty. It's, so so uh, liberally. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. All right, I'm gonna use it twice in two consecutive turns. Yeah, so it's like sure. Your two. hand must be really good in yeah. agenda wise. Yeah. yeah, the hand must be flush. I'm probably gonna for Montreal regionals. I'll probably try something like a Blue Sun version, uh -huh. where I could reset this. Oh, if that's I need yeah, to. that's pretty interesting actually. Yeah. yeah so, so like in case you draw something of lower, then you can try exactly. to rock it. Yeah, I so like you start that. Start one with. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Three. Oh no. One two. Okay. Interesting. And geo front. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that or it's uh, another <laughs> Dean ruse 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 where it could be neurostasis. Yeah, that'd be cool. Actually, uh, what would what would you return if you were Dean? Oh, there's an uh, I would probably bounce the clan vengeance and paperclip away. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't think there is another uh, yeah. paperclip in there. So. Yeah. And getting rid of clan vengeance. Is pretty I mean, good those too. are the only two options really. You don't yep. want to return the casts for the most part. Maybe this cast, but uh, regardless, it was an NGO front. Dean gets his money. Terrence waits to click. Uh, and we've got Labor to Liberty rocking. So now that's wow. not useful for anything. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, because it's there's too many. Uh, what are those power counters? That is correct. Okay. Yeah. So unfortunately for Dean, uh, Lady Liberty ship has sailed, but we can still rock it pretty hard with Econ. Play this kind of honest-ish netrunner. Terence hasn't seen like a zero or anything like that yet. No. Nope. Does he have those even? He does. He okay. does. I mean. It's hard not to run that card. No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, man. Uh, oh, that's a sweet use of it for sure. You go three, then four. Yeah. GG. Three and four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if you had a, an extra click, you could even fast track for, for one of those. Anyway, sorry. Uh, jank mind running loose here. So we're going to see what Terrence is up to. I would probably play the. Uh Liberated accounts. That that works, or you could play uh, another clan vengeance if you really want to. But depending on how many cards, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's if there's two cards that you want to get rid of, then you can do that. Yeah, Terence so was poised. Draw. Terence was poised from the beginning because he had three of his conspiracies in and a fair amount of money. Um, Dean would, had to slow his roll it over. A bit. Yep, there yep, you go. There it is. Yeah, I think this would be a very different ball game if Dean was able to go. Two into three, mm. but good, good, in, uh, good hindsight on Terence's part to uh, try to attack the uh, head, headquarters. Yep, uh, solid hit on his end. Is. Yep, he managed to get the obokata out of hand. So now this game is three to two in Terence's favor. Um, looking pretty good both ways. Like nope. uh, neither of these players are really in a position where they're looking desperate or hungry. Um, they're both kind of just biding their time a little bit. Dean, of course, if he waits a little bit too long, might end up falling behind here. But of course, we have a card like Rashida, which is going to accelerate him pretty hard right into the, right into the next agenda. There, wow. he's got an okay. SSL okay. SSL sub. Does he here jam it? Here we go. It's yeah. neurostasis time. <laughs> oh, oh, it's neurostasis. He's oh. gonna try to force uh, Terrence to run that, and then once uh, once right. he runs. Edge. Single, single, single advance. Okay, single yeah. advance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bluffs the bluffs the Nisei, bluffs which the Nisei. is yeah. super strong. Yes. Super strong. Mm. I really like that. Actually, this is a good card as well. I re I really like it. Mm. Um, we can pull up what Neurostasis does uh, for those who might not be uh, eligible in this one. It's the newest uh, yeah. asset ambush in uh, Rain and Reverie. See, Terrence yeah. is gonna run it. Can't can't rest the. Uh, Sorry, uh, Cameras and Nisei. So, yep. Uh, Strengths four Surveyor. Uh, that will cost him eight credits to get in. I think uh, that's fine. Six credits, considering he is bad pub. I yeah. would do that. Yeah, and then you have your MK out on the board. <coughs> but, I mean, that's True. not a significant uh, cost reduction once we already have it. But yep. it's, it's good. We have Still two good. bad pub. We can yep. rock it off. Uh, so. he, does, he does have the money to spare. Little does he know, like, he might lose his, uh, his means of 
income, but here's a neurostasset. Oh, oh, damn. Here that is. It fires, it gets oh, a clan vengeance out. Clan Dean vengeance. playing pragmatically, knowing that a uh, ripped up clan vengeance is going to destroy his hand. Interesting. Especially when zero comes out. That's interesting, too. Yeah, but making him lose that clan vengeance is not bad. It yeah. deprives Terrence of another avenue of attack. That's true. Uh, maybe Dean's uh, archives ice is not something he's really confident about. Uh, employee strike has been up for a good brunt of this match, so That's like correct, yes. he's not able to really leverage uh, MT McQuindu's ability. Oh, here's another clan vengeance out of yeah. hand. <laughs> All right. If I was Dean here, I probably would put. Uh, wait, what? Not too many clicks. Gotcha. Oh, whoops. Gotcha. Man. So Dean hitting a Chrysium in hand. Uh, he's gonna in put that Chrysium on. Yeah. Nope. No, he's thinking about it there. I put in the I put in the root of R and D. Terrence doesn't have rebirth, does he? Uh, he does. Oh, okay, so yeah, so root of archives is consider like a consideration yeah. as well. But no, he's he's, he's, Omar, he's jamming yeah. it in R and D. Uh, yep. Let's get rid of that. Swap it. it did swap job. it. Yep. Oh, I put that third uh, Surveyor in that server. MK Ultra does not do well against Surveyor. No, definitely not. I don't, I don't yeah, do that. It's interesting to see the uh, the commonly played ice really uh, bias in favor of making the Conspiracy Breakers expensive. Yes. Yeah, like uh, if you have a bad rate against the Conspiracy Breakers, you're intentionally opening yourself up to getting blown out. Yes. So here's our here's our install here. Zero, then CV. Uh, he peeled the APOC. Uh, Terrence is going to peel, draw two cards there. Um, that would have been nice on his end. He he definitely because he has redundant well, copies. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah, so like he would have been fine to just continue hamming on Dean pretty hard if he was able to fire the apoc. But as is, he he doesn't have that opportunity anymore. That's true. If I was Dean here, I'd probably go uh, install the surveyor or oh, I guess so double advance. Double yep. advance, yeah. SSL contracts. Yeah. It's uh, getting on the table here. Good idea on his part. If he gets that score, then he's got a good drip income for the next couple of turns. Yep. Uh, that's going to put him in position to get those last couple of points on the board. True that. True that. Yeah, he doesn't have an Issei counter to hide behind, but there's two unrezzed assets in that remote and two surveyors up on it, so it's pretty pricey. That's a pricey meatball. Oh, it's uh, inject. Stim hack. Oh, stim hack. Okay, whoops. <laughs> they, uh, he played a stim hack like it was an inject. I can see how you could make that mistake. So paying for it. Yeah, paying, paying six for to go it. through. Yeah, uh oh, here's a here's <coughs> Cold encounter it again. Would you like to encounter it again? Would you like to encounter it again? Dean pays for them, of course. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so Terrence pays. Yeah, Terrence pays. Terrence pays. Trashes. Trashes. They're running to it again. Uh, and no, does not have enough to get through this time. Oh, no, accesses. Nice. He actually... Wow. Doesn't this cost him 24 credits to get in? How do you have 24 uh, I credits? I don't know if Dean res the, the code replicators, did he? He definitely did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did Terrence pay to trash them instead or something like that? I'm a little confused because I feel like Terrence should have paid more for that. But uh, he stimmed. I guess he had more credits than I imagined. Yeah. Oh, all right. It is what it is. Okay, he's got three on CV right now, which is uh, pretty butt, considering Dean has a Philo in hand. So Terrence has the win. Um, if he can sniff out where that Philotic is, That's then true. it's just going to be GG. Um, of course, it does open up the possibility of jamming it in that server uh, as a Rashida. But yeah. um, it's, it's unlikely Terrence will check it, especially considering how ahead on board he is and how much that would put him back. So, uh, yeah, hold on. That's it, right? Like, did he have 24 credits at that turn? Alright, so Sung Ho is now leaving the booth just to take a gander at table side. How much money does Dean have? Uh, Dean has, looks like, uh, 13 right now. Hmm. So they're just checking it out, trying to figure out what's going on with regards to getting this sorted. He played a stim hack. He had some money on the table. Here comes Victor with some clarification, looks like. We're going to rewind the tape 
figure out what's yeah exactly yeah some uh some world cup action here So just bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently figuring out whether Terrence paid enough money to get into that server, given his credit pool in conjunction with the stim hack he freshly played into it. Uh, both players seem to... Um, Twenty-two. Okay, so Terence did have twenty-two credits plus two bad publicity. That is uh, enough credits in pool um, to make up the difference between Stimhack and the bad publicity uh, to get into the server. However, doing so would cause him to go bankrupt. So it looks like that's being fixed right now. Unless we were missing something table side, which of course is entirely possible. Um, this looks like a fix on Sung Ho's end. Again, just bear with us, everybody. We're getting this table situation sorted out. Okay, looks like we're back into it. Uh, Dean has taken his no fresh turn. This day. So Terrence has no money. He no. just spent money taking. Uh, he yes. spent his turn yeah. taking four credits. Dean has a scarcity of resources up. Uh, Dean is gonna. Yep. Oh, there, yeah. there's that. There's that. Um, of course, if Terrence had money, then that would not be a, a play that Dean could do easily. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah but because. But this is a or say that would have been pretty effective there. Uh, but like it had a big impact. It had a gigantic impact, so right? So we had to make sure to set out the state as such. Yep. So uh, Dean has four points. Yep. Thank you. Dean is, yep, <coughs> taking those right in hand now. Yep. Uh, we've got a pretty successful inject. Yep. Uh, he can use that. Another, in, uh, yep. There's an M-Strike to clear off the scarcity. Uh, if your Terrence here, do you do you set up a DDoS maybe? Um, pop in like we we have already seen um, ten points here, so uh, only a few more agendas left in Dean's deck. Yeah, you and he under Dean, yeah, he, Dean understands it. Yeah, he yeah. he gets um, he gets another piece of ice on R and D. It looks like a Kakugo. Um, it's gonna yeah. be pretty useful. There's another Clan Vengeance there, of course. Um, Terrence can just chill. He can just sit behind a couple clan vengeances. Hmm. All right. So, looks like we're peeling off some more here. We're uh, getting into pretty low credits as far as yep as far as what Terence has in terms of money um, Dean is taking this uh, lull in aggression in order to glacier up uh, doing this the old-fashioned way by paying for the exterior outside ice install um, instead of cheating the ice into play with Team Kundu's special ability um, this is fine that works out really well um, it allows him to kind of relax a little bit, and not too much, of course, because uh, rezzing any sort of threatening ice is going to put a chunk 
uh, into his coffers, which can't really afford to take it at the moment. Um, but it does give Terrence pause and allow Dean to get his ducks in a row, maybe get some more points on the board. Um, of course, all he need, he has at four points right now to Terrence's six. So all he needs to do is score another SSL or an Obokata, and that's GG. So Dean taking a minute to just peer through Terence's heap. Uh, hey, so fill us in on what happened there. Like, do we have a small board state error? Yeah. So once we took further analysis on the play-by-play, -play, uh, oh, yeah. unfortunately, uh, Terence only had 23 credits instead of the actual 24. Oh, so no. we're going to have to remind players at the end of this game because we've... Uh, Make sure to go back and yeah, we, we did as much as we could at the time, but now we, we can't. A lot of video replays, so. Okay, yeah, so on the second pass through, Terrence was a credit short. Um, that does alter the state of this game drastically, but of yeah, course. Yeah, because then it, it would have been too much of a big impact because Dean would have been able to have that scored and then. Yeah, and uh, then. He was three philotic. credits shorter because he had yeah. to pay to advance it. Yeah. But now he had basically nine. Yeah. So uh, it's a. We'll it's have a to make sure that. Things are different now, but that's okay. It's already too far gone to go. Uh, it's a lot less egregious than the initial, like, uh, windfall on Terrence's end, where he still had so many credits left over. Yes. It's But still, it's not. Sometimes you can't avoid it. It's up yeah, to the players like, to. We try as much as we can to actually yeah. notice it. It's. I thought we were upon about further it. consultation. Yeah. yeah, after looking at yeah the tape twice over, yeah. thrice over. All right, so we're going to get just a pretty standard setup on Terence's end. He's going to liberate it just so he has enough so money to install. do stuff. So that's an install there. Just gotta strengthen up these surveyors. I, yeah. Well, th th that's the danger, right? If you try to strengthen this remote, then your rem um, centrals get a little bit weaker. But yeah, for sure. The benefit. Is that there is a Chrisium in R and D, so like he has to kind of run it twice. Yeah. So like this is actually not bad. Yeah. Uh, um. This uh. This surveyor. <laughs> this surveyor's remote is pretty robust right now. It's yep. gonna be tough for Terrence to get in without a stim hack help. Um. That's uh pretty good in empty. Yeah. You just kind yeah. of jam it in the server and then grow that server bit by bit as they come in. That's right. Um, if you can drag them in a few times with like stuff like Rashida and Geofront, wow, then you okay. can grow the server nice. Terran's opting to not use zero there because oh, wow. he doesn't want to lose key cards. Key cards in hand, in hand. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, pretty telling for Dean, but of course he can't really do much about it. There's not, not much he can do to penalize him. He's going to oh, hit that Rashida and... There we go. Uh, yeah, oh, that's, looks, that is the one that they that, wanted to uh, see. It looks like it, yeah. Like, um... <clears throat> What's the what's the unresed upgrade in in remote? It is a Mumba City Grid. Okay. So yeah, even given Terence's what looks like a fair amount of money on Terence's end, yeah. he's actually still a little too short in order to get that uh, get that access and yes. grab that grab that agenda. Um, even with the stim hacks help, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So preemptiving. Okay. So as VVT Live uh, managed to get through the uh, floor rules in there for me, uh, this would be under uh, warnings for both players. Uh, Dean received a warning earlier in the Swiss rounds. Uh, so we just have to make sure that players just make sure to be careful about stuff. So, so <clears throat> now this is the mark of like a, a player who has played hundreds if not thousands of games of Netrunner uh, instead of like jamming and hoping that Terrence doesn't call he's instead chosen to kind of like develop his board state a little yep. bit maybe uh, maybe feign as if he didn't draw anything of relevance in the uh, Rashida draw yeah and uh, taking <clears throat> it easy a little bit he knows that low risk uh, HQ is pretty low risk right yep. now like uh, although Terrence could get in cheaply it might not be something that he cares to do at the moment considering that Ooh, like oh, okay. okay this is gonna be pretty helpful that sandstorm is gonna be very key. yeah it's gonna be a, a pain but um, DDoS uh, also uh, yeah can uh, kind of negate yes. that right but adding extra strength to um, for surveyor, surveyor is pretty good too. That's true. Uh, just paying. Yeah. 
basically adding a nice at six, basically. That's pretty sweet. Because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Terrence discarded a stem hack earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I believe there's one more left in the deck, so you can be able to calculate how much credits uh, Terrence will have at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I think here, that's a risk of if you play hedge fund and IPO as well, is then your hand becomes a lot smaller. Right. So you don't want to lose to a 33% chance access. Right. So perhaps might be the best course of action is install the sandstorm in the remote put the i uh, put the nisei in the scoring remote yeah and then oh that's helpful actually okay yeah so yeah he plays it and drags him yeah that's the yeah. safest <clears throat> here we go it's yeah. time it's a solid and this is yep. good here we this go is good ip uh, sorry um ddos gets popped yeah uh terrence has four clicks to, to do what go. he will so he's can't going res. to he can't res that he will res this it looks like an anansi uh oh, mk ultra how much for anansi uh, i believe it's nine mm. so one two seven eight nine yep Nine. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> yeah. And if he doesn't break it, then he's taking three nets regardless. <laughs> now one, everybody's doing. Yeah. Yeah. So just making sure three there to pump. Doesn't uh -huh. break anything. Three to pump. Now breaks two of them. And then three breaks it all. Okay. Chrysium. Yep. And then res Chrysium to Very make nice. sure that, yeah, he doesn't that doesn't get happen. And I don't know what that is. It's nothing relevant, looks like. Well, it may be something that Terrence might want to trash. Mm, yeah, he's did, contem did contemplating. Did he put the NGO in the memo? Or did I he think he, uh, he jammed the NGO. Oh, he did jam the NGO? Oh, yeah, Cold okay. Replicator, yeah. Cold Replicator. I think those are the cards that you actually put back in, so... Yeah, that that's sense. pretty useful for yeah. him. Yeah. Um, well, to make them run into a Surveyor again is... Yeah, a very... Oh, price. for sure, yeah, that's for sure. That's a pricey... For sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see what you did there. <clears throat> so, the problem is here, Terrence really needs to break the, Chris, the trash of Christian if he wants to fire the apocalypse. But it's too now expensive. He, now he, to since do he so. didn't do it, yeah, he's he's lost his opportunity <clears throat> to hit it on yeah. this turn. Dean is going to Dean does have five credits on board as well. Yes. So he's representing some really so. taxing stuff on his uh, covering so his no remotes. Can't res. Res, There's a data hound or news hound. Yeah, yeah, news. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Totally forgot. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> ping one, two, two, three, and then it's yeah. another four. So he's at six. Yep. Accesses. No. Uh, nothing there. Yep, nothing in there. Nothing. Yep. So uh, Terrence has run twice this round or this turn. Yep. Uh, once against R and D and once against archives. But um, R and D is not. R and D does not count as a successful run because of Chrysium Grid. Yeah. So he can't apoc, unfortunately. I think that's what he wanted to do. Yeah. But here we go. Well, he's going to. Well, let's see. What card is he losing? Oh, there it is. Uh. Well. Yeah. Oh well. It I happens. mean, it's not like it's not like he was in a good position to yeah. apoc anyway. Yeah. Considering I that think, the, there's a res Prism behind an uh, Window to trash. Yeah. Yeah, but he didn't take it. <coughs> so Terrence, uh, six. Oh no. Oh, if you had, yeah. No, no. Oh, if he ran again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he sniffed it out. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, that's asking for a lot. Anansi is too expensive to break generally. Well, no. no. And then if if Dean lets or if Terrence lets any of the subroutines fire, then he takes free uh, net. Or he oh, takes and free then, net and, and he, he might he, fire, he, yeah, he might use one of them too. I right? like that. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, if you're yep, King yeah. sixteen, got to recoup and then. Charge up Big again day. next turn. Oh, no, 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 no. six. Four. Yeah. Six, six, yeah. six. Six, but then one uh, one advancement, yep. or one power counter on Nisei, Mark two. Jinda counter. And Jinda counter. counter. You're right, my apologies. Um, All right. All right. MT is alive again. Yep, and and there's an agenda counter on Nisei, so Dean is pretty favored <coughs> here. Um, oh, wow. He has a 20% 20 20 chance to lose. From an HQ hit? From an HQ yeah, hit. Yeah, so he pays three. Uh, bad public, pretty much. It is what it is. Yeah, let's see if he can find it. Nope. Kay. Nope. At Dean here, he's going to try as much composure. Expo uh, composure? Yeah, he's going to try yeah. to retain his composure yes, here. thank you. Thank Make you. sure that uh, Terrence can't <clears throat> see him sweat. He knows that he could lose here if he finds a hot peel. 
But we'll see. No, how well, this is the thing too. If Terrence sees a hedge fund and an IPO not being played, yeah. there must be something. Yeah, yeah end, that's right? true. Actually, yeah, he'll yeah. sniff that out nice. Like yeah, he's that's what I like about all these players is that you take these cues and, and like kind yeah. of like hints being like that doesn't make any sense. Why yeah. wouldn't you do this? And yeah. it's like because you want to hide the agenda. Mm-hmm. It might be it might be worth his time to get a pseudo multi access. Oh, oh so here we go. Yeah. Dean's gonna jam it. Install advance and then IPO. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, bang. Yeah, that's go. what he needs. Uh, <coughs> anything relevant in hand from empty? Uh, so ooh, looks, there's a sandstorm. That's yeah, gonna be oh, pretty that's gonna be key. Pretty that's key. gonna be key. Just yeah. send them away. Yep. Fly them out. Yeah. Oh, this is tough. But where would you go, though? Yeah. You have to go R&D, right? And like, yeah, yeah. Not say, well, I mean, the thing is, like, if like, there's nothing relevant in hand anymore, but yes. it, there might have been a line there where Terrence actually lets Anansi fire, um, takes, uh, takes the counters on CV, and then kind of just wipes Dean's hand. Yes. Yeah. That would, that would work, too, yeah. Yeah. Instead, like, maybe <coughs> break, like, Excuse like okay, you don't so need to break zero. all the subs if you're going to do that anyway. No. So let's see the I've had worse. Nope. Inject. Because the last two cards off of there, oh, <laughs> Rebirth was literally the second last card That's of the a shame. deck. That yeah, is if that was a little earlier. If it was a little earlier, that yeah, would have been nice for Terrence. That would have been very nice. But unfortunately, that's Netrunner with a 50 card deck. Sometimes, sometimes the one of is just it. right yep. at the bottom. Yep, sometimes you don't see it, and sometimes you do. So here, unfortunately, you have to basically do a double run into this remote, otherwise... He doesn't have the money to do it, right? Well, no, but I mean, like... Uh, otherwise, he just loses. Otherwise, he cannot actually yeah. get in this server. Yeah, he can try peeling Lucky off of uh, R&D. True. Yeah. Um, no, that's, that could happen, too. It's just... That's the problem, is that... Um, since Dean does have a Sandstorm in his hand... Yeah. Now, it's basically locked in, because wherever server Terrence goes... Yeah. He just installs He's gonna the... He's going deflect uh, him. Oh wow! Oh my Not god! Not an earthquake. Oh just my an, god! An Someone's doing an apocalypse in real life. Yeah. Oh my god! Apocalypse real life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's your out here as Terrence? Dean played this masterfully. Like he that, really kind of just like yeah, was, was able to turn a bad situation into one where he's poised to win. Yes. He's got the counter up. He's got the uh, Terrence is really low on clicks. Uh, I, he doesn't. I, he does. I, he has I a wish, lot of money, but not enough. Yeah, I wish to not be. I guess not. This is click three. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Isn't this click three? But he flipped his clicks to make it look like it's. Uh, I don't know. Okay, there's a Kaku go there. Yep. Oh, nice. This is gonna hurt Terrence. <laughs> he won't have enough to steal the Obokata protocol if he sees it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is... The thing is, though. Here's the danger is if he takes damage to this, mm -hmm. then could Clan CV. Vengeance fires yeah. to but perhaps hitting... make him lose the rest of the cards in his hand. It doesn't matter, though, because he has a win on board, right? So spends nine. Forgot to put a counter on. Oh, he's going to do it right now. Hmm. And then he's thinking about it. If I was Terrence, I would probably use it. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Bye-bye. Uh, do, you do you want... What? What's going on? So he's past Kakugo. He's taking the damage. He is... Oh, he's got no more cards left in hand. I would... Oh, my God. If this wasn't an agenda, I would have... I would have used an easy counter there. I would have used an easy counter. This is click three, right? So it doesn't matter. Now he it's click four. Now it's click four. Yeah. Just takes a tag, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Nothing relevant. Draws it, scores it, yeah. and that's good game. Oh man. Damn. Good, well played by Terence, valiant. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, uh, that was just the edge there. Like just barely. Yep. Good game. Dean moves on to winners' finals. Well poised to take this entire tournament. However, we're waiting for a result between Luke. And Alex, that has correct. that been resolved already? I believe they're okay, still playing. Okay, they're still in media's rest. The winner of that game is going to face Terrence in losers' finals. After that, we're going to see grand finals between Dean and the winner of uh, losers.